All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel Eastern Conference Finals game number one. We got the Boston Celtics taking on the Indiana Pacers. In today's video, I'm going to give you my lean on the spread. I'll give you my lean on the total. We'll talk about a couple player props we like as well. But as always, keep an eye on the pinned comment for all of my final plays. We also have a same game parlay at the end of the video like we've been doing in these last few games here. If we cash that, we're going to give away 50 bucks. So make sure to keep an eye on that towards the end of the the video but yeah we got the Celtics taking on the Pacers I think everyone expected the Celtics to be here I'm not sure if people expected the Pacers to be here but good on them for being able to get that win in Madison Square Garden sending home a Knicks team that uh, looked like you know leading into that had all the resilience they had one of the best players in the playoffs so uh, good on the Pacers I'm kind of happy to see them do that because uh, to me I think that this could be uh, more like a better basketball series if that makes sense I think all basketball fans know if the Celtics and Knicks played in the Eastern Conference Finals, it'd be like a war. There'd be some chippiness and all that, which would probably be entertaining as all hell. But I do think we have a really good basketball series. And I think people are sleeping on how well the Pacers can play against the Celtics. And I'm a Celtics fan saying that. So uh, nonetheless, I guess what I'm saying is I don't mind uh, this matchup whatsoever. I've seen people on Twitter being like, the Knicks and Celtics would have been so much better and all that. It's like, yeah, if you want to have the sort of allure of, of Knicks and Celtics, that sounds great. But I think it's going to be a pretty damn good series. But nonetheless, guys, before we do get into it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. Our last uh, NBA video, we went 2-2, two and two, but it was a profitable night because one of our losses was the same game parlay we threw together for plus 669 odds. And honestly, almost cash, which is crazy. But that was only a quarter unit play. Our sole real loss for one unit uh, was Obi Toppin over 13.5 PRA, which wasn't even that bad of a look. So I'm not all that bummed about that. We hit the Nemar over 14.5 points plus assists for plus money. And Mike Conley was a good call as well. And our ride of the day... Jusserino coming in with his second straight dub. He had Nas Reed over PRA, 12 and a half. Nas Reed was so involved in that game seven. So shout out to him. Shout out to Justin for calling this. If you guys don't know what the ride of the day is, all you have to use is that hashtag ride of the day and give me an absolute banger of a play in the comments. Then I jump on board with one person's pick and give you a shout out in the next video, win or loss. I also shout you out over on my Twitter. It should be rotating through here uh, on your video at some point uh, throughout the video. And if you win, we continue to ride with your pick. So yeah, Justin Reno, two wins in a row looking for what he throws out there today um as always guys the ride of the day it's got to be at least minus 145 or better for odds none of these uh totally juiced plays so go ahead and drop your ride of the days in the comments but should we talk some eastern conference finals basketball let's do it um i think if we were to start from a money line perspective we always get comments like oh who's gonna win on the money line the celtics I think they're minus 425. Okay. So there's my money line lean in terms of spread pick here though. Like, I don't think that this is as cut and dry as people think. And again, this is Celtics fans saying it, but this is a spot in which Indiana, you know, as 10 point dogs has covered that in, in, I think it, I want to say it's like five of the last eight against the Celtics. Um, but on the road, they've only done it in two of the last four. So I think that that's where they could get a little caught up here. I do lean Celtics, but this isn't like a, you know, close your eyes and just lay whatever the points with the Celtics. I think that's going to be a hard-fought game. Um, but ultimately, I think you can also get, you know, minus 9.5 for the Celtics right now, too. So, yeah, give me the Celtics. Most of their wins so far, obviously, uh, in the playoffs have been double-digit wins. I think actually all but one have been double-digit wins. So, sign me up for that. And this is not a biased Celtics fan talking. This is a Celtics team that is just absolutely dominant and I don't think that I can go into a game one looking at the Celtics saying all right yeah let's take the points with the Pacers uh, before knowing how this is going to play out right like if we see the Pacers sucker punch Celtics in the mouth in game one then I can start to reevaluate through the series but we don't want to um blow our load all in one pause blow our load all in one spot right like this is game number one we want to see how these teams react so i'm going to trust the better team the better defensive team even though the pacers defense has looked good and the team that i believe has more star power behind it in game number one to win by double digits so trying to be unbiased as possible but give me the celtics minus the nine and a half as my spread play here in terms of a total this is i looked at this line immediately i'm not even kidding immediately it was like oh it's going under that line right the more and more I look under it, like, I don't think that that's as easily called either. Um, 
in their last few against one another. Uh, they've hit the over here, and let's see, that's six. They've hit the over in six of their last eight against one another, and some of these totals have been way higher. 246, 247, 249, 245, 233, 232. I get it. It's playoff basketball, and if you look at what these two teams have been doing overall, the Celtics have gone under this line in 10 straight, um, and the Patriots have gone under the line in six of the last 10. But this is another one where it's like, yes, I understand it's playoff basketball. I understand the tempo slowing down, but this is the first time these two teams have seen each other since having a game in which they had a 129 to 124 finish. Before that, 133 to 131, right? So uh, I do look at this, and I say, you know what? Screw it. I'll take the over in game number one. I wanted to lean under, but uh, I'll, I'll take the over. I do think that both these teams, their offenses are well within uh, the ability to be able to go out there and give you 110 apiece, right? So, yeah, we'll lean in that direction. Even looking at what they've scored um, over the last few games here, right? So, Indiana's game log, if we forget about uh, New York for a second, they've gone 130, 116. Uh, 121, 121, uh, 111, um, and let's see, 130, 120, like this is 117. Like this is a team in which uh, they've been scoring a lot of points even in the playoffs, right? Uh, you look at Boston, 113. 109, 106, 194, so not 194, 94, that was the outlier. Then they go 120, 118, 102, 104, um, and 101 against Miami, and 115, I believe, in game number one of that series. So two teams that have individually been scoring a lot in the playoffs, and I could argue that the Celtics have done it against two better defenses, right? So... I'll take the over in this spot. I know that was kind of long-winded there. Now let's move on to some player props. Before I do that, I do want to talk to you guys about Sleeper. They have a nice little free square for new users today. You could see that Jason Tatum, 0.5 points. Jason Tatum, we actually have him involved in one of our player props. We'll get into that in a second. But guys, if you don't know what Sleeper is, if it's available in your state and you have not signed up yet, I think you are absolutely missing out on what I would consider right now the best DFS player prop app out there right now. You can combine two or more players into a slip. The more you get correct out of that allotment, the more you get paid out. You can win up to 100 times over there, and that is due to the fact that Sleeper has dynamic payout odds and boosters. Guys, not every single play has the same value. You can literally, um, you know, like like most apps have a 2 for 2 equals 3x and that type of thing, right? Not Sleeper. Like I said, you can win up to 100 times over there. Um, each play has its own uh, multiplier, which is really, really cool. If you use the link in the pinned comment today, you're going to get 100% of your first deposit matched. Yes, 100%. You could put in 100 bucks, they'll match it. You'll have a new account balance of 200. Guys, go test it out. I've been using Sleeper for over a year now, and like I said, it's one of my favorites. They have more plays available, they have more um, lines available, they have alternate lines offered, and they just implemented combo plays, which essentially is you don't have to get your entire slip correct. You could have five players in a slip, you can cash three, four out of those five, and still get paid out. So, really, really cool, guys. Long-winded, but seriously recommend you guys go check out Sleeper. Link in the pinned comment. You can get that deposit matched, and you get this square. That's all going to get triggered by the link. Go ahead and check it out. But yeah, let's jump into some player props here. We're starting off with Jason Tatum. I like his over two and a half three-pointers made. So if you look at the playoffs as a whole, Tatum has not been shooting the ball all that well, right? 28% from three. The attempts, you can make the argument the attempts are still there, but overall, what I'm looking at, and again, maybe I'm the dummy in the room, but I'm saying these two teams haven't played each other yet. I think that this is more of a Celtics-Pacers game than an Eastern Conference Finals game one game to some degree. And, and Tatum, excuse me with the stutter there, Tatum has hit this in six of seven against the Pacers uh, as of late. His last two, so both this season, um, this one was this year as well, I believe that one. Um, but So three of four this season if we want to be specific. But his last two, eight and four against the Pacers. I don't see a guy on this team that can really uh, stick with him with that step back and everything like that. So I think this could be a good spot for uh, Tatum. My one concern, but Tatum's kind of defied it, is look at the Pacers against uh, power forwards this season and just overall allowing the fewest amount of threes so their perimeter defense is definitely good um but again i just think that this is going to be a spot in which uh tatum's going to get some open looks and it's time that Tatum turns it on, right? Like, Jason Tatum is either going to have a bunch of points, which I don't like his point line. He has to score 30 points today. He's done that in plenty against the the, uh, the Pacers here, but I'd much rather him being able to score, you know, what, 20, say 27 points, have a good game, still making those three threes, right? So Jason Tatum over two and a half three-pointers made is player prop number one. And before we get into the second one, guys, I will say, 
I'm hoping to add some more plays. So keep an eye on the pinned comment. Again, everything we talk about in the video are plays that I'm really liking. We haven't locked in yet or anything like that. So keep an eye on the pinned comment. If you don't see anything in there, check back a little bit later. But I'm looking to add maybe one more play. We'll see. We have a busy day, a few meetings. But nonetheless, let's jump into player prop number two. TJ McConnell over 14 and a half points plus assist. When he plays 20 plus minutes, which he's been doing in the playoffs this season, he's hitting this nine at an 88% hit rate, which is absolutely absurd. If we clear these, these filters so I can give you a better look at it, he still hit the over in 54% of games this year. He's hit it in seven of his last 10, and when they really needed him, look who stepped up, 19 and 19 in this spot. But what I like to see is a game in which they truly did need him, right? Game seven, win or go home, he played the most minutes he's played in the the playoffs so far I look at that and I say okay that is a guy that this coach trusts he's hot right now and then even against the Celtics when he plays enough minutes right look at these are the two highest minute totals he's played which again this is all relying on minutes that is when he cashed this line so when he plays you know 20 I only did the 20 plus for the season but when he plays 20 Four plus minutes, he's cashed in twice, uh, two times against the Celtics, um, both the season. So I think that this could be a spot for TJ McConnell to be sort of that trustworthy guy on this squad. Um, and if he doesn't play the minutes, then this is chalked, okay? I understand that. He's going up against a pretty tough Celtics perimeter, but I think they're going to have other guys to worry about other than TJ McConnell, right? So yeah, I'm going to lean towards this spot as well. TJ McConnell over 14 and a half points plus assists. Now, we have the same game parlay coming up, guys. We're going to jump right into it, but um, like I've been telling you guys for pretty much, what, the last week and a half, this same game parlay is coming to you by way of BetMGM. No other sportsbook out there has better odds for same game parlays. Even this one, it's four legs plus 195, okay? Plus 195, we compare it to DK and FD, and they're absolutely blowing that out of the water. So we'll jump into it right now, guys. Um, and what's cool about them, they've been just giving me uh, a bunch of uh, promos as of late too, which is uh, really cool. Like, I'm, I'm sure if you guys are signed up, you're getting these as well, but here's uh, insurance. So this is technically, um, is 25 the limit? Technically, we could throw this in. Yeah, let's toss it in and let's see. We got a promo. That's a insurance play, so it's kind of risk-free as well. So that is in. What we're looking at is a same-game parlay for plus 195 odds, right? We got Jalen Brown to score 20-plus points, um, him to also make one three, Tyrese to score 15 plus and Miles Turner to, to make two threes or more. Compare that to FanDuel plus 172. So we're absolutely crushing it with odds. Um, FanDuel plus 172 and then DraftKings plus 132. We did have to finagle Brown and Turner because they didn't have those exact lines available. But with the odds, essentially, we're beating both of those books by 30 cents and then nearly 60 cents. So BetMGM definitely the like you if you guys have been watching the videos like I don't even have to 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 tell you and sell you on this right like BetMGM has the best same game parlay odds if you've been watching my video it's literally just social proof so go check BetMGM out guys that link is in the pin comment you can see the deal you're getting right now up to fifteen hundred dollars paid back if your first bet over there loses I know a lot of people stick to one sports book you you might be on FanDuel you might be on DraftKings but guys the more the merrier these odds are unbeatable you should have more sports books so you can get the best lines out there why take this exact same same game part away if you put you know 10 bucks on it to win 13 where you could be putting 10 bucks on it to win 20 over on BetMGM. you know what i mean like that should matter to you if you're taking this seriously or you just want the best offer out there so go check it out i'll have a link for BetMGM in the pinned comment guys you're gonna get that deal right there which is absolutely awesome and you're gonna get the best odds in these same game parlays for the rest of the playoffs i can guarantee that so go check it out guys that link is in the pinned comment and all right, guys, recording this after the fact. Um, I'm a dummy and forgot to say it, but the way to enter the $50 giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, and then comment ECF. And if this parlay that we're locking in caches, you'll be entered into the giveaway. We've already given away 100 bucks doing this. We've hit a couple of these parlays, so definitely worth doing. It's risk-free on your end. Again, ECF for Eastern Conference Finals. Comment ECF to enter the giveaway. Must be subscribed and obviously hitting the like button on this video. But it's risk-free for you guys. Just like this BetMGM offer, go check it out, guys. Link in the pinned comment if you do want to check out BetMGM. But uh, yeah, comment ECF if you want to enter the giveaway. And yeah, that's going to wrap for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Um, let me know that you made it to the end of the video by commenting 
14. We're just about at the 14 minute mark. Um, and I love seeing, I just talked about in my MLB video recorded before this. I love seeing the recurring names and usernames and even faces uh, that do comment and make it all the way through the video. I've, I've been getting blessed by these comments saying, Hey, um, I, you know, you're part of my, you're part of my daily routine and all that. It's like, absolutely amazing to see that stuff so i want to say thank you so much to you guys um and guys we'll catch you guys in the next one all right We're, let's let's keep crushing the playoffs like i'm shocked that we've been doing so well but you know what a blind far, uh, squirrel finds a nut every once in a while like i said a couple videos ago a lot of weird things said in this video let's close up shop before i say more catch you guys in the next one all right peace out